anime family was good hey everybody it's your boy the little Beat Bree, and i'm back with another video and today we finally about to find out the truth man because yesterday i went live and it was this one naruto who was bodying all of the bleach fans now i'm talking about he was bodying a hundred bleach fans he was convincing all of them that naruto could solo the bleach first <laughs> And I was like, God damn, all of this hierarchy, all of this high tier, top tier shit that I've been hearing about Aizen. And it take one person to change my mind completely. Everything that I heard about Aizen went out of the window when he was debating a hundred Bleach fans. And they couldn't say shit to the man. So now I got to go to the man set the programmer to try to better understand Aizen's strength. Because after that, I lost all respect for Aizen. I'm not going to lie to you. So, we're about to be reacting to this video. And I got to mention that me, Smooth, and King, we are going to be reacting to Bleach. Go subscribe to our new channel. Once we hit a 1,000, we're about to start reacting, and it's called Optars. Go check that shit out, man. We're going to start with Attack on Titan and Bleach at the same time. And then y'all go let us know in the comment section down below what y'all want us to react to after we finish those ones. Or we could react to more than that like at the same time whatever y'all want us to do y'all just gotta let us know but um yeah that channel is gonna be called optars i didn't want this one just just because of the rich factors you feel me you know sometimes you know what happened to Shmoove? his channel got striked down i don't want that to happen to this one after i didn't work so motherfucking hard and the reason that we waited for a thousand subscribers is because we edit on our phones and full episodes is gonna be hell but Go ahead and do that, but in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna need to know a little bit more information them so I can explain shit to them. So we're about to see how strong Aizen is. Everybody tell everybody tell me he's this god. Everybody tell me he's top tier. But one man convinced me that Naruto could solo the whole verse. And y'all didn't say shit to counter that. So let's see what Seth got to say. Let's get straight into the video. Already. Hey, Bleach music. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. More specifically, the former captain of Squadron 5 of the Gotei 13, Sosuke Aizen. Now, I've talked about Aizen once before on my channel, and I'd say pretty in-depth, actually, although it was granted over two years ago. I still think it was pretty decent. You can check that discussion in Madara versus Aizen that I'll link down below. Now, while I did talk about some of his power level, per se, in a cross-verse sense, I'd really like to discuss Aizen as a character within his own verse and some things I think I missed out on in my Madara video. Now, before we get started, I did get sponsored today, and I do guarantee that... I ain't finna listen to no ad, but hold on, listen. Fuck, now I gotta watch it. Now, now listen, I'm not doing this to compare Aizen and, uh, to One Piece because, uh, yeah, I don't know. But... I don't know nothing about Aizen. I'm not going to continue continuously compare shit to One Piece. This is trying to, trying to gosh how strong he is in, in terms of Naruto characters. Because, like, after what happened yesterday, I, I, man, I, like, I mean, I'm going to watch the show myself and I'm going to see for myself. But after yesterday, it's like, damn, Aizen, like, let me let me know something. But I'm not going to watch his ass. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And then we go get straight into this, man. This video is done. Go to the description, pre-register, get your gift, and enjoy a fantastic. And y'all be confusing me because sometimes y'all want me to like to talk, and then sometimes y'all want me to be the way quiet. Presents himself is on a totally different caliber y'all hear that than music? Most, if not all other characters in Bleach. It's sort of similar to how the Sage of Six Paths presented himself to Naruto in their first introduction, except instead of being some super experienced smart being that wants to help the world as he is, he instead uses all his brain power to be an absolute shot in Freud to everyone he is engaged with to destroy them in the absolute absolutely most humiliating way possible. This massive intelligence Aizen claims to be the second in the Soul Society, only second to Kuruhara with his thousands of plans for every battle Jimmy Neutron brain, and power he claims nobody can actually contest him on in just his base state, said maybe Yamamoto and Kenpachi, is one of his stark characteristics most people are familiar with. However, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep pausing it. I'm not gonna keep pausing it, but the fact that he just said Kenpachi, right? Like, that nigga Kenpachi is a dog. I knew it from the jump that the man was a dog. Like, as soon as I seen, even though he lost to Ichigo, you know, that's plot, plot armor at his finest, you feel me? That's the power of the pen. That's the power of the author writing shit down. Nigga, he's not gonna lose. But even though, even though he lost to Ichigo, I always knew from the moment I seen him, Kenpachi was gonna be that guy. I still wanna see that little girl with the pink hair. I still wanna see her fight, but I knew 
that Ken Pachu is gonna be that guy, and I fuck with his crew. My favorite character is Ikaku, and my second favorite character is Ken Pachi Zidaki, You feel me? And I like Kisuke with the R too. Look at me knowing my characters like I'm a goddamn Bleach fan. But let's continue. I won't keep pausing it. This is the last time. Usually familiar with the specifics of these and how Aizen evolved and regressed from that numerous times within the story, and often mistake all his showings for being normal. Even before all of the crazy the hell is that? applications Aizen receives later, Aizen is still a godly Kisuke getting body to manipulate everyone around him. When Captain uh, Yodoichi, sweet tag team, and later on, he too guy. Look at me knowing my fucking character. Aizen to perfectly control all the senses of someone that That's, sees the um, Shinkai release. Gein has a monologue about how arguing that Aizen needs Kyoko Sugetsu is a massive underestimation of his abilities, and it's confirmed that if Aizen were to use Kyoko Sugetsu to win all his fights, that the Espada would have never respect him enough to follow. Him, meaning even Aizen's raw Reatsu and spirit powers are enough to give every single member of the Espada a concussion and more than likely be immune to all of their hacks, abilities, and power-ups, which as Aizen and describes niggas are strong. Are thinking that they stand a chance against the Lord of Arankars is illogical. The most notable of these hacks is being Espada number 7 Zamare's release Bruheria and its Amor ability, and Espada number 2 Baragon's passive hack Senescencia, its release state Aragante, and its respirable ability. Like a, a this demon. is impressive because Zamare's Amor is an ability that can completely control whatever it looks at with Barrigan's senescencia being able to manipulate time itself to slow people down. Oh, they got some hack hacks and bleach too. That is pretty much this aging effect on roids. Yet, none of the Espada are convinced that these abilities will work on him in just his space state without even using his Sheikai's ability. It's actually implied there's not even a sliver of hope for them to beat him. Implying, as I Jesus. said earlier, that Aizen more than likely outright negates these abilities with his raw spirit energy. And I watched the fight. I know I said I wasn't going to pause it, but I watched the fight, the Uka Aura fight and him and itchy going them niggas was going fucking crazy now y'all telling me that nigga don't stand a slight like that was the best fight that i seen and y'all him and, and grim jaw like they got some w ass fights and i know they probably i don't know if they the strongest or not but y'all telling me that they ain't got no chance against eyes and what if they jumped him like all of the it's like what is spider no orange car what are they called? Is Spider or Iron Car? I think the Iron Car. What if all of them jumped him? Like, do y'all think they have a chance at beating the nigga, or he he fodderizes them without Kyoka Suigetsu? Because that's what he's saying. Like, he don't need the shit. So, do y'all think Isaac can beat them without Kyoka Suigetsu? This is pretty much confirmed two times later in which, for one, Aizen's notable quirk as a war potential for Yuha is his Ryatsu, and in his battle with the captains. During the fight with the captains, Hitsugaya freezes quote-unquote Aizen in place, and Soifan is able to land two taps of her Shikai, which activates her Kasatsu ability, that causes instant death. However, Aizen explains that due to his far superior spirit energy, he can simply overwrite hers and its abilities. It can be argued that Aizen is not actually there in this... So no devil fruit abilities will work on this nigga. Damn. Okay. I know I said I wasn't gonna bring up One Piece, but Genjutsu don't work on this nigga. Hacks, and that it was supposed to be believable enough for the captains to still fall for his trap later. Obviously, if he said something ridiculous that they can't believe, they might be less willing to believe it's actually him. This alongside the can brawl all of the Espada and they have no chance of winning statement is pretty telling that he more than likely can't outright negate things like time acceleration. Wait, or did he actually say that? Hacks okay. Without much effort, even in just his base state, which I'm going to keep saying over and over for this video. It also implies that it's very possible that every other hacks and audibility we've seen in Bleach is beneath him so long as he scales far above it. After this, Aizen then proceeds to dismantle all the captains and visors that challenge him, including Soifan, Shunsui, Hitsugaya, Kamamura, and Shinji with absolutely no effort. Even and after Shinji, Shinji tries to manipulate him and beat him with all his senses distorted, Aizen instantly learns how to counter and fight within Shinji's collapse ability, then mocks him for literally being a wall Walmart knockoff version of Kyoko Suigetsu, which pretty much allows him to let people see a... That's what he gonna say about Genjutsu when he's soloing the Naruto verse. From here, Aizen only has two things he's actually scared of left in his way, and those two things are Captain General Yamamoto and Kenpachi Zaraki. Not even Unahana, the old Kenpachi, remotely intimidates him for discussion, despite the fact he used to teach at the Spirit Academy... We need a video, how strong is Kenpachi Zaraki? Does he have one of those? one that can train Zaraki later on during the Blood War to reach a level to fight Yuha and the Quincy's. And despite the fact that Yamamoto, who even with one arm later in the war is confirmed to be the strongest of the Gotei 13 and 13 Blades, 
faces Aizen, and Aizen can actually still do damage to him, and even with Yamamoto actually sacrificing his arm at one point and exploding with Hado 96, Aizen takes virtually no damage at all from this attack. This is following, of course, the massive planning that went into this whole encounter that allowed him to even outsmart both Yamamoto and Urahara at the same time, both of which are insanely intelligent, with Yamamoto having a maxed out intelligence stat in the data books, and Urahara being confirmed to be even greater than that, yet Aizen could read the hope. So who is on top? Um, Yamamoto or Kenpachi? Like, which one of them is stronger? Or that's something I got to find out for myself, y'all. Let me know in the comment section down below. I got to know which one of them is stronger. Because if this nigga Yamamoto's attacks don't do shit to Aizen, I, did, I know he said that he outsmarted him, but he didn't really give context of how, why it didn't do nothing to that nigga. But, like, if it had, if his durability is so high that this nigga, ha this nigga abilities, who can destroy the soul society, his abilities don't do shit against the nigga, is, is meaningless. What about Kenpachi? So if Kenpachi could hurt this nigga, then goddamn, Ichigo hurt the nigga. Its effects even better than Kisuke could, and he could easily construct a plan to seal away Yamamoto's Rujin Jaka, which is confirmed to be the strongest Zanpak toe in existence. He even purposely stalled Kenpachi with order he may's rescue Yami and Ukiora so they could obtain immortality to body him when they did battle later. Although in all honesty, with Kyoko Sugetsu, he could probably have defeated Kenpachi even in base. He simply could have had Kenpachi sense a different level of power than what Aizen was actually using, and when Kenpachi suppressed himself to have a good fight like he always does he'd one shot him or something like that although i'm not so skate so i'm not going to claim that it's yeah, a I mean, person idea you might also be able to say that he just wanted to pit himself against kenpachi with his hokioku state to see what the fuck that nigga oh that's his bankai percent mean kenpachi would beat him and he was even confident that when it came down to it that his spiritual powers were the greatest in the soul society even before the hokioku even after fighting yamamoto as well although he's not 100 sure he could have beat him either you could once again say that he's still only saying that if he fought Yamamoto straight up that he'd lose, which is not his style to really begin with. Although I can see that if Yamamoto went Bankai or something, that Aizen would not be able to win, as in Bleach Guidebook Unmasked 3. It is stated that Aizen is actually not a true threat to Yamamoto and that he never actually... Man, I don't want to hear none of that. I think that Shikai Yamamoto is somewhat debatable as obviously Yamamoto's Bankai is what's truly evolved to the point of insanity. I really don't like hearing that shit if you get your ass beat by the nigga. You trying to sacrifice yourself and shit. I mean, maybe you need context. Maybe I need context. But the fact that this nigga Eisen had this nigga on the ground trying to grab his leg and shit, whatever that panel was, like, no, bro, don't try to say that he could beat that nigga if he didn't do it. Man, they fought. He should have did it. This nigga Eisen was wreaking havoc fucking everybody up. You should have turned up. Past thousands of years, not really his Shikai. And even if it were true that Shikai and Yamamoto were above Eisen, this is also not an anti feat as Ukatake and Shunsui were pissing themselves at the mere side of it. And Ukatake states that its spiritual pressure is like an ocean of transcendent energy. On top of this, at even half power during the war, being greater than every captain, this isn't really all that crazy. And if anything, that would actually be an intelligent feat for him for being able to defeat someone stronger than himself. Another thing that kind of bugs me when you discuss base Aizen in this community That's is that Ishigo's dad. He lost to Ishin Kurosaki. Now, well, Ishi Wait, what? Been like one of the big three that the Espada are warned to avoid fighting with. This battle never once reached its conclusion and it's somewhat questionable if Ishin was ever shown Kyoko Suigetsu in the past. Although you could say it's more than likely as the entire point of protecting Bro, I'm not understanding. Alright, look. Never Look, I know y'all want me to finish this video, but I'm convinced already that Naruto does not solo this verse. Already I'm convinced. Like that nigga, he was he was talking a whole lot. He was talking a good bunch of shit. But I'm already convinced that Naruto don't solo. And I'm not gonna continue this video because we are about to watch Bleach. Go subscribe to that channel. Once we hit a thousand, we'll start. You feel me? But we are about to watch Bleach, so I don't want to spoil myself. But I'm convinced already that this nigga Aizen is really heen. But what the fuck is going on with Ichigo Dad? He's stronger than everybody else. He struck, bro. So Yamamoto, Kenpachi, and, and Ichigo's dad are the dogs of the shop. Of the... I got a lot to learn, but I'm gonna learn. You feel me? We all gonna learn. But that's it for this video. Remember that you have the ability to make me famous. You had the power to put some bread in my hands. You know, y'all do it. Get in video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace.